Hey, welcome everyone. It is John the Net Guy. Hope you are having a spectacular Tuesday. This is going to be an amazing week. I'm excited to be here with you. Hopefully everything's uh, working out microphone and sound wise. I'm going to check the chat here and hopefully you guys can all hear me. I've got a ton of great products, technically nine, but we're going to skip one and I'll tell you why today uh, that I want to show you things that have been sent out by brands and I'll indicate where that happened and other things that I just picked up myself and I've been using for a while that I wanted to share with you. We're live on a bunch of services right now. And if I get this other thing back here working, we're going to be live on uh, hopefully Amazon here in just a second. So I'm getting that uh, restream going here. Oh, there's the guy looks just like me. Uh, so we'll get that going. I'm checking the chat. I see a couple people flowing in. It was getting windy here, Ron says. Thank you. About time. Yeah, I'm a couple minutes late, but uh, we'll talk about this clock. There's something special about it. And if you are watching on YouTube or any of the services, you might be able to deduce what that actual special thing is about it. I'm just taking a quick look on Amazon, getting ready. And I'm going to invite those guys in, and then we're going to get started. I'm going to hit this button over here. We're going to see if this goes. It's going to be a great week. I'm going to be uh, down in Vancouver, Washington area at PDX LAN, a big gaming expo for charity. A 900 computer gaming expo, to put it at that. There we go. We're live on Amazon in three, two, one. <laughs> awesome. Welcome Amazonians. It's John the Net Guy. We are checking out a bunch of cool tech this week. I'm going to get going uh, because we've got a packed show and I don't want to hold you any longer. I do have some unboxing videos that I've done on a couple of these things because some of them are just too big to fit in the studio. I've literally got some products this week that are enormous. But the first one you guys might have already spied is back over here. Now, this company did send this out for a fair and honest review. And you're looking at it going, what is that? Well, it's got a couple other components. I'll bring them over here and then we'll talk through what it is and how you can use it. I do have one accessory over here and you might figure out what it is from this. This is a bird feeder, solar powered with a hidden webcam. Check this thing out. So it literally has a camera inside of it. Now, a lot of times people have taken wise cams and you put them in near around a bird feeder, squirrel feeder, whatever, and then you can see them. But this thing is specifically designed for doing that. So what's cool about this is you can angle the camera wherever you want. And beyond that, it actually has AI to tell you what kind of birds you're actually looking at. So let me pull this thing up on the carousel so you guys can see it. And I'll say hi to the Amazonians. This is a four megapixel bird feeder, by the way. So four megapixel camera has 128 gigs of potential storage here. It is completely solar powered. Now it's also going to allow you to continuously record. Uh, you can record on action, notif notices, all that stuff. I assembled this thing a little bit earlier. Uh, I'm going to have my editor splice that video and I'm not going to make you guys wait for it, but I'm going to give you the basic lay of the land and how this thing works. So we're going to go on the top down. So overview here, the camera fits on the kind of a middle and you would put the bird seed through the top here. So I'm going to take some bird seed and I'm going to load this up. I am super excited for my daughter to try this thing out because we've had a bird feeder out before, but it's a little bit far away from the house and you can't really see some of these small birds. We just got a hummingbird feeder recently. Oh, you know, I've got to cut this a lot better. Give me one second. Before I make a mess live on air, let me cut this off a lot better. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic night. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling it with some bird seed. Okay. And that's what it's supposed to do. Now don't let me turn this thing upside down when I do this after I've done this. So I'll put a little bit of bird seed in there to fill it up. So it holds quite a bit of bird seed and now it's all over my office. Uh, the one thing I notice here is this isn't necessarily gasketed. So, and this could become a problem if you get some seeds stuck in the, the gap there, but it does make a connection and it should drain water away from the top. But now if we go look from the front here, you can see that it's actually putting the seeds out. Now it's got places for birds to land, these little fake branches that you can put here. I'm trying to figure out what this is. It wasn't in the manual. It's kind of this 
weird uh, poking thing. I'm guessing you could put fruit or something else on it. It didn't say in the manual, but uh, that's what that little fork thing is. Maybe this is to keep some some bad birds away. I don't know. Um, has a couple different mounting options I'll tell you about. One of them here real quick is this hanger. Now, I've seen some people when I was doing research, some little R&D last night, that have actually used this. And you plug it, you know, clip it across here and front to back. And then you can just hang it somewhere. And what was funny is in the reviews where they hung it up, it does kind of have this swing, right? So when it's swinging, you know, the birds and the picture kind of moves around a little bit. So it'll be pretty cool. Hey, I see a friend checking in. Oh, got one of the show. Nice camera for security. Well, that's another funny thing. You now have an external solar powered four megapixel security camera that'll kind of blend in, look like a bird feeder. But uh, we also have Zach coming in. Zach says, hi, thank you so much. I'll see you uh, very soon here. And that's crazy. Over-engineering birdhouses taken to another level. This is true, but I'm I'm with them on this one. I think this is going to be very exciting. I'm going to put this thing up actually this week while I'm gone, and I'm going to be very excited to see the footage. I'll share the footage with you guys next week. We'll check it out. This is the other thing I'm in interested in is this is the other mounting option. So you can either hang it, which is one mounting option. You could drill this into a tree if you had one, and then it comes with a couple different mounts here. Let me get those out for you. So it's got these quarter 20s. You put those in the bottom of the feeder and then you can adjust the angle of it to whatever. So if you've got a post in your yard, that might be another option. Does have these two very long straps. So you can strap through this. You don't have to damage your trees or do anything. You strap through this around the tree, around the pipe, around the building, whatever it is, and uh, connects back that way. Does have full-blown instructions. I walked through that. I can't show you the QR code because we're live on Amazon, but it does go to a place where you download an app, and this is where things start to get cool. So I actually had this in there earlier. The app name is already here. It's called Tris Home. And there you get a little picture of my butt from earlier. <laughs> it is waking up the camera. Please wait. It's connecting to it. And there's the view that you're seeing. Now, this is in standard definition. You can see it's live. So you're seeing that right there. I wonder if I can get it to full screen. There you go. And now I can change the resolution up to full HD. So this is the 4.0 uh, oh megapixel. Really good. But you know what's funny is the focal distance. You notice how like my beard's not in complete focus there. The focal distance is set perfectly right here because you want to see the birds up front. And that's where I think that they've done this right. So they've got a solar powered external waterproof webcam and bird feeder combination. The price on this, you know, you pay quite a bit for just outdoor webcams. Let me go in here to Amazon. I'll tell you what it is right now. Right now it's on sale for $106.59. If you do want to see any of the items that are on the show, I'm going to put the scroller up here for you guys. That's the URL down below. So I'm going to pull that up on my computer here and I'm going to share it with you. Amazon.com slash shop slash the net guy. If you want to see what we're looking at, this guy looks just like me there. He's uh, he's given a demo. You go down to the idea list number 409, and this is going to show you all of the products, not necessarily in this order, but you can see this is the highly rated um, bird feeder. Now, what's funny is the price is slightly different on the two here. So uh, you can knock it down with a $20 off coupon, it looks like, with your Prime there. So it's got a $20 coupon. Um, prime pricing is 106 minus 20, I believe, on top of that with the coupon. So you're basically getting this for around $85. For something for the kids, for something for mom, uh, Mother's Day is coming up pretty quick. I think this is going to be a real hit. Now, it does use AI. So when you actually do get the bird coming up here, it's going to let you know I had to turn all of the notifications in the app off because it was spamming me to death here in the office because I had it up on the, the counter. And every time I'd walk in, it was going off and telling me that there was a, well, a very large bird walking <laughs> in there. But there you go. You can see all of the different features that it has. It is available anywhere you have Internet access, which is awesome. 110 degree field of view. And you can also share this unit and the video with friends. I'm super excited for my daughter 
that when I'm gone this week, she'll be able to, on her tablet, we'll put the app on there and she'll be able to safely access this camera. It's a completely separate app. She'll be safely able to access this camera and watch the birds outside, which will be kind of cool. Coming back to the app, just real quick, I want to show you what it has. So it's gone back to sleep to save power. We'll wake it back up. It has a couple other features that I want to talk about. One, it does have two-way audio, so you can talk uh, to it. So you can intercom through it just like a regular one. You can listen to the birds that are there. It also has a uh, siren mode, I was told. I'm looking through here to see how it would do that. Uh, light alert. So there we go. There's the different settings here. Alarm. So we could alarm this if we need to. Oh, do you hear her? Maybe that is for your squirrel that uh, is not supposed to be there. You can do that. So it has that uh, squirrel deterrent. You always need that. We've got the intelligent alerts. If I turn these on, you're going to actually, I'm going to get spammed for the rest of the show. But what it does is if something comes into frame, it uses a passive infrared sensor. That's how this camera lasts so long is it's using a passive infrared sensor to wake the camera up, connect to Wi-Fi, send the image in, do all that. So it does have live video capability. It also takes stills. We can uh, include an SD card in it here. So I'm actually able to pull this up earlier. So this was my very first video I took with it after I set it up. So you can see me moving it around earlier today in the studio and setting it up. So it does have a micro SD slot, like I said, so you're not paying any cloud fees. There is a cloud recording capability that it has as well. So you can uh, do that, but you're not required to use the cloud store. So very exciting for uh, somebody that was looking for possibly a gift for mom on there. I'm gonna take a look in the chat and see if we have any more questions. <laughs> I love it, Ron Moore says, an extraordinary bearded pip sighting. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Mike's checking in on the Facebook side, says I'm here. Mike, this would be really cool as a gift. Uh, I know some people that you might be able to give this to. This would be really neat uh, where you're at. It's pretty darn hot where you're at. So I wonder if there are some birds. And that's the neat thing about it. We have all sorts of great birds around here. This is going to give you that right up and close view so you can see them. So I'm, like I said, I'm very excited about that. And I was looking for that uh, Echo integration. I'm going to use that name instead, the Amazon Echo, because it would be really cool if I could throw this up on my main TV. I know I can do that with casting, but I'll look into that. And next week, I'm going to hopefully show you the results of this brand new product. So welcome if you guys are just joining. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're checking out our first product, which is one camera. There's actually two cameras on the show today. And one of them has been surreptitiously recording us the whole time. And I'll tell you which one that is here in just one second. The uh, super sleuthy among you have already seen it and probably picked it out. I'll see if anybody in the chat knows. Can anybody guess? <laughs> where the second camera is here oh we're reconnecting are we having any troubles it says reloading okay okay oh we're we're looking it looks like it's just my laptop being uh tough to, today do they guess where that second camera is in the studio i'm looking in the chat i gotta i gotta give an award or something for this i'm gonna go ahead and while i'm waiting i'm gonna go ahead and mark it on the carousel so if you are following me on amazon you'll see this there's actually another camera that's recording. And this is what scares me about traveling. So this is a Wi-Fi. <laughs> Ron got it. He says, in the clock. Yes, this little clock that I never have on my studio. This is our very next product up for review today. And it looks like a very bog standard clock. I'm going to go on the side view so you can see it. So 5.48 p.m. Pacific time little USB port in the back, no other indications. It doesn't even have, uh, you know, a, a fixed base. And what's cool about this thing, if you just take a look at it, it actually has, it reminds me a lot of the Echoes, it has this real carpeted, nice pattern. It is super light. It doesn't feel like there's anything in it. But let's see if I can show you. If I peel the back off, this thing's hiding a secret, people. <laughs> yeah. This thing has in the back of it, it's hard to get off with the cable. I'm trying to do it in a way that I can show you everything. Look at the back of that. It has an on off, it has a reset, it has a trans flash or micro SD card in there. 
this is a camera that's been recording us the whole time. So what does it look like and where would you use this? Now it doesn't, let me just qualify this. This camera does not record audio. So in my state, it is legal. All of the new uh, hidden cameras on Amazon, I believe are gonna be required not to record audio. But it just looks like a normal camera, uh, or sorry, not normal. It just looks like a normal clock. And I've seen a lot of their photos. They just have them on a bookcase. You have them wherever you would want a clock. But I'm gonna go ahead and dial into this and you can see that this has an app with it. This is called the Tuya Smart App. It's connecting and I'm waving my hand. That is the image that you get from this clock. So I'm gonna rotate the image here so you guys can see it in full screen view. It's not a bad image here. We'll go get the exact megapixels, but this is coming from the Alpha Tech group. So this is the Alpha Tech box here. This is a brand new product from them. Now they've done some other products in the past. I've shown you some of them before. And I'm, uh, I'm we're watching it here on this clock. Take a look at that. That looks like a standard USB charging plug, right? Not so much. There is in the back another micro. So this is another one of their products. This is their newest product over here. And they say, reached out to me for a fair and honest review and said, hey, John, can you show your uh, uh, visitors this? This is what it comes in. It is available right now on Amazon. I'm actually going to take a look at the current price on it. It is designed to be a hidden camera. Now, whatever your feelings are on hidden cameras, they do serve a purpose. Again, if you're concerned about something that's going on in your house and you have the legal ability to do it, <laughs> and, uh, you can use something like this that's very innocuous to record. And it's funny because it hides in plain sight, which is the key. I've got lots of other products that are you know, doing double duty. But let's take a look real quick at this one. I'm going over to their Amazon listing real fast. 180 degree field of view. It does have five and 2.4 gigahertz, which is really good. A lot of these, you couldn't access them via Wi-Fi. You had to have physical. This one is Wi-Fi accessible. So you don't have to be physically present to it to actually watch it. So you can be out of town and monitoring your house. Maybe that you want to look for the dog, make sure the dog's uh, you know being good. There's a situation that happens a lot, nursing homes, right? And depending on the rules of the nursing home, Obviously, if you're wanting to tune in and take care of a, an elderly relative, that's one thing. Or if you just want to make sure that they're being taken care of properly themselves, there's that. So the 160 degree wide angle, what does that look like? Well, you can see here, <laughs> it's covering that. My arm span is six feet. It's covering a pretty large portion with that fisheye lens capability. And, you know, for a webcam in my studio, this is doing as good as many of these webcams do. So they've done a fantastic job with the concealment of it. I also don't even see where the lens is on this. I don't see it have to, it looks like right at the top. Let me know if you can see here. I'm going to bring you guys in close and I'm going to let you guys look this way. Do you see a lens there? Because it's right above the, the dots. It's right in that area. So very concealable if you're looking for something like this. And again, this is from Alpha Tech. Let's take a look real quick on the Amazon page, see what it's going for right now. Uh, it looks like it's $69 right now on Alpha Tech. Again, brand new product here, so I don't have a very long history with it. Uh, but it also brings up the topic of if you're going into a hotel room or somewhere else and you see a clock and you're like, oh, that's great, they have a nice clock for me, just take a look at the back of it. And if it looks like, that's the one thing that was, uh, keying me in right away. If it looks like the back might pop off like this one does, this might be from the Alpha Tech folks here. So I want to thank those guys for sending this one out for a quick demo here and a review. I will test this out further and let you know what I think about it. But so far, from a feature perspective and you know just the video image that I'm seeing right now, it looks fantastic. I'm very excited about this one. I'm going to head back over to the show and see if there's any questions on here uh <laughs> nice but very bad for airbnb yes if you're in an airbnb you need to watch that so um does this one integrate with home assistance that's a really good question does it have ir lights to do in the dark that might be one considering when using yes it does have night vision let's go ahead and see if i can trick the night vision to come on it's hard in this big studio to do that but i do want to check that for american we're going to look at that 
I'm going to go into the app here, and this is my clock camera, I called it. So we're going to go down here. I do have an alarm capability. Oh, that's the uh, the motion alarm. So that's when it lets you. It doesn't have any sound recording capability, and it has no ability to make sounds. So I was actually, when I was setting it up, I had to trust it. The only indication I knew that it was set up properly is that the thing actually set the time automatically. So that came up real quick. Uh, let me see if I can go to the photo album here. You guys can see. Uh, there's a picture I took a while ago. Pretty, pretty clear photo here. Just taking a quick look and see if it has, I believe it had the night vision. Maybe it does not on this one. There's the uh, setting there. I do not see that. You know, it may not. And unfortunately, to turn all the lights in this studio off, it's really tough. <laughs> so maybe before we end, what I'll do is before we end the show today, we will shut all of this off and see if it has the night vision. I'm also going to check the Amazon listing here. Uh, remote viewing. Uh, dual band, superior, extended loop recording, live access. It doesn't seem to have, and I'm going to look for night. No, it doesn't have it in the in the description at the top. So I'm guessing it doesn't have night vision, but let's see what the nighttime performance looks like on it. Great question from America there. And that's why this is a 100% live show. <laughs> Ron Moore says, put it in a box. Oh, well, you know, we got a box coming up here. I'll be able to do that here in just a second, Ron. I love the idea. Uh, we'll put it in a box and see if it can see out of it. Or what would it see in a box? It would, it would be dark, wouldn't it? So, <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, this is what we deal with with people here live. But that guy, I believe the shame from your head was overpowering the camera. That does happen sometimes on these live shows. I have to worry about that. So that was the first two products on the list today. The third product actually was sent to me from a company called SwitchBot. And they have just finished their Kickstarter. They have an, a smart curtain system i'm going to bring it up on amazon it's not on the show today unfortunately i was not able to get it installed in time and i want to do a good job for you guys but let's take a quick look at it i'll give them an honorable mention today this is the unit right here and it works with almost any curtain system it's solar powered so you don't have to worry about charging it up if you want the curtains to open and close automatically for you or with your home assistant voice assistant, you can do that and this works with nearly every single type of curtain system you have it's one of the only ones that can do that it installs in just seconds but unfortunately i ran out of just seconds before the show today so i'm not able to get it live and i don't want to show something in person yet until i have it live so i'll do a full unbox and we'll take a look at this one next week but I'm excited for this one because it has a lot of cool engineering going on in it. So uh, one of the things that is compared to all of its competitors, one of the strongest and one of the quietest automatic curtain systems. So that was going to be on the show today. Unfortunately, I had to call an audible on that one and skip that. But I do have something in its place, which is kind of funny. So I showed you the other day some blackout curtains. The same company that made those blackout curtains actually came back to me and said, hey, We've got another design we want you to try out and my wife has been complaining for me because i might have done a bunch of remodeling in our living room and i got our existing curtains completely dirty they're supposed to be white and we have these uh, cellular shades that were all the rage and they're kind of a gray color now <laughs> so i didn't take them down when we were doing drywall and a bunch of dust came and got them so these are zebra curtains and I had not honestly heard about zebra curtains before, but pretty easy to install. I'm going to walk you through a quick video because they are so large. I couldn't bring them into the studio, but I actually recorded a video just so you can see it. And I'm going to bring that one up here. And hopefully I got the uh, installing the zebra right. So here we go. So this one's going to launch. I'm going to be down here in the corner. I'll still be here and I'm going to be narrating. There's no audio on it, but there is the zebra curtains themselves. So... You can see how they open and down. They have kind of a shutter effect. So there's my old curtains. You see they kind of have that gradient of gray. Well, they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be white. Now, to measure, measure in three places horizontally, three places vertically, and that's going to give you your window dimensions. Make sure you do it on each window that you may order on these. But the cool thing about it is with those measurements, you can go to Amazon right now, and you can get custom cut, custom fit, blinds and these zebra blinds now you take your old ones out it was pretty easy in this case just some tabs that i had to pull off and then i'll take the other side off here 
these things get shipped to you directly, including all of the hardware you need. You do need a drill or something to get the old ones out and wear your safety glasses. Amazon, see, I'm wearing safety glasses this time. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead here, take out the old hardware. I won't bore you with too much of that. Now get your workout in because, you know, you're, you're a guy. You need a little extra arm pump there. But this actually held both curtains in this one box. It was shipped with Amazon and a little safari hat comes with it for free, as you see. Uh, but it's shipped with Amazon very quickly and all the hardware is on the end. So you're going to get these little tabs, which is the key to their system for mounting it. And you're going to get all the screws that you need and uh, holders to mount it into concrete or any other type of surface. They're an inside mount system. So you're going to mount them inside. In my case, I'm mounting them inside the window track. So they kind of hide in there. Pretty easy to install. Uh, one person can do it, as you're seeing me here and with some basic uh, technical knowledge. They do have a manual here, pretty well laid out. And, and then you might need to drill, just so you know, I pointed out there, you might need to drill a hole. In my case, I was actually able to reuse the existing holes for the old hangers, take those off and put the new hangers up. Now I chose for the light filtering, but they do have a blackout zebra. My wife loves the results. I'm going to show you what it looks like during the day here in a second. But putting these in is really easy. I put a couple screws in each one. I only needed to use three out of the four that were available. Um, didn't have any sagging or any other issues. Just one support in the middle and two on the outsides. Installing them is just pushing in and clicking. And they lock in and they're ready to go. You're going to get to see them for the very first time here. And this is that zebra effect. So what's neat about a light filtering zebra is you get privacy. You still get light and you can block them all off. Um, so this worked out really well. I did the same exact thing on the second one here. So you're going to get to see that. So the second one went in pretty easily. Um, you know, I'll go a little bit faster this time, but it is well wrapped here. You'll see that they, they've done a really good job. No damage at all in the shipping on this. And in fact, my wife loves these so much. I'm going to have another set coming here in a week or two that we're going to put in our kitchen. So same room and they have a little bit of a different style. So you're going to get to see two different styles, but they're both zebra curtains and uh, just totally upgraded the look of this room. And you, they're actually clean, which is a big benefit on these ones compared to the other ones. And we're all done. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like and how they work during the day. So they're light filtering, which means you get to actually have light coming in even though you get privacy. And that's been a big deal for us. So it's it's actually helped a lot with our seasonal affective disorder here in Washington State. Uh, very happy with this. Now, these are available in a ton of different measurements. I've tagged them on the Amazon page, but let's go ahead and we'll pick them up here from the show page and take a look at them. So these are from Bulagun. That's these guys right here. Now, again, measure in three places, pick the smallest measurement uh, if it's in a range or subtract half an inch if you're right on the edge. So if it's 57, for example, and your window is 57, you go to the one that's slightly below that. Now you're going to see, well, John, you've got the 13 by 14 by whatever. Well, you actually have to come down here on the Amazon page, click on this selector and you will get all of the different sizes. So in my case, my window one is 34 inches by let's say 37. So I can pick this one and then I can pick out all of the different colors and there's a 15% off coupon on top of that. You don't even have to leave your house folks. You can just measure in three places horizontally, three places vertically, blinds ship to you. They do come in several different colors. I'm going to show you that again real quick here. So they've got a bunch of different options. These are the colors on the left side. There's a white, a beige, and then there's the uh, the darker gray. And then there's also blackout versions of the same things. So a blackout version is going to actually knock all of the light out. So you can use those if you do need to have your room dark for movies or something during the day, whatever you're doing there. So very cool product. I want to thank them for sending that out for a fair and honest review. I had a great time installing it. And like I said, it was so good. The end result, I did this at night. I recorded it last week. My wife came downstairs the next day and was just like, wow, that is night and day difference. So really good. I'm just taking a quick look here. Uh, American says switch bots are awesome. Oh. Man, now I'm jealous. I really would want to see that. So uh, we will do that. <laughs> uh, American says, I will show you when we're in my neck of the woods how awesome the switch bots are for home assistant. I bet you will, man. That will be really cool. I'll get uh, uh, hands on. That will be pretty slick. So 
That is the custom zebra curtains. The next item again is one of those that I can show you here in the uh, studio, but to really get the full effect, I had to use it earlier. I had a lot of these today. Getting my truck ready for this trip that I'm going down south and getting everything else around here clean has been a labor of love. This is something that I bought a while ago for cleanups around here. I've been watching those detail videos on YouTube. I know, you know, you go out there and they've got these these guys detailing these cars. And I'm like, I really need to clean my stuff. And I saw a tool that this guy was using and I said, there's got to be a version available. Now, these are scouring pads. There's three of each different kind of intensity here. These are going to be your buffing pads, but this is a car detailing kit. Basically, you can use this for car. You can use it for home. You can use it for really anything where you need to have a, uh, you know, scrubbing action or, you know, getting dirt out of anything. In this case, there's several different sizes and different textures. So now I use this specifically. You can use this as a polisher. I'm actually just going to show you guys here in a little bit how some guy in the reviews did an amazing job polishing headlights with this. Not with these ones, but with the other uh, pads. But there's so many different options here. This is what I love. Different sizes, different types of pads. Um, so it's kind of like a Scotch-Brite. It is going to come with 30 pieces here in this set. And it comes with an extension for your drill. So to use these, you are going to need a drill. This is the backer, so you can pick any one of these up. So if you're going to, let's say, you know, polish something, you could use this pad to rough it up. And you can actually use, with this tool, an extension, your drill, and you can use it that way. So let me show you what that looks like here. I do actually have some footage of using this. I was very impressed with it. So I'm going to take the extension here. One thing that this works really well on, and I'm going to show you in just a second, is car wheels. So trying to get your wheels clean, it, unless you've got really tiny fingers getting into all those grooves, is an absolute pain. So that's attached. Now I can attach this to my cordless drill. You can use a corded or cordless. The one thing I like about cordless is you can get a lot more RPM out of them. So we come over here to the side. You can see how that can spin there pretty pretty straightforward you also have this tool here which is good for getting into tires oh i just spilled water everywhere that's awesome and it's a touch screen so we'll see how this goes for the rest of the day but this is wet because i was just using this earlier so we'll see we'll see how quickly this recovers uh can i touch that screen it's still touching video storage and i'm going to show you how i was actually able to use this to clean a set of wheels just a second ago so i'm pulling that up here maybe <laughs> it took a second to come up i think my computer's like are you touching so there's the difference before and after on these wheels the left side was before i polished them with this tool i used a very simple mild cleaner and i use this attachment that i'm going to show you right now so this is that wheel cleaning attachment i get it a little bit wet here to start out it's always recommended and then I used some of the stolen cleaner from my wife. I went up and stole some of her all-natural cleaner just because I didn't want to use something too caustic the first time here. And I, I did the whole wheel because I want to clean some of the rubber afterward. But very easy to use. Attach it to your drill. And you can run this thing around. And the neat thing is it can get down in those pockets. So my wheels on my truck get really dirty, lots of brake dust. I also have some corrosion because I take them into salt water, dropping the boat in. And so this was actually really, really nice to have because I can get into those spots all the way around here. I can use the side, the tip, the edge, all the parts of it. And just like that, I'm done. And that's how fast you can see how bright it's getting now. So it's dislodged that stuck on brake dust and dirt. Now I'm going to use this other tool and I'm going to polish the rubber. So the rubber on these tires has very, very fine grooves and it catches mud and dirt. You'll see actually how dirty that is. And I cleaned it off and then I can clean this off. So even if you're going to use some tire dressing, some tire shine or something, do yourself a favor, get something like this and you can actually clean up those tires ahead of time. So uh, that again is this drill attachment. I love it. It is super affordable. Let's take a quick look at that. $23.95 right now it's saying on Amazon. Let's go take a look and see because sometimes with Prime and different stuff, you get special deals. So I'm going to my Amazon show page here. I'm going to go in. It is on the carousel and this one is $23.95 for the yellow. They have a different version here that you can also get the black version. So this was a 30 piece and it looks like it's just a difference in the color. So yellow versus black. That's the only difference that I can see. 
and $23.95 is the price on that right now. So I do have one other clip that I can share with you just to show you how it works because again, I wanted this thing to uh, really help dress up the look of my truck. Let me pull that up real quick. And the carpets in my truck are trash. Somebody has been getting in and out of my truck with muddy feet all the time, may have actually spilled coffee a bunch of times on the carpet in my truck. So uh, because of this guy, I needed to clean that up. I'm going to show you here real quick. Uh, Jonathan Talks Hardware is checking in. He says, good for cleaning side-by-side -side wheels, off-road vehicle for your fun. I'm going to be riding a side-by-side -side here in about a month down in Mexico, going down to Cabo here um, to do a side. If you know of a, a good rental agency down there, let me know. Uh, I'm going to be down in Cabo. Would love to do that. Uh <laughs> Are you a ranch or French fry guy uh, in your tire dressing? You're going to have to clarify that a little bit more on the tire dressing. Uh, uh, I think we're making a, a dressing joke there, but I didn't get it. It's over my head. Let me show you real quick the cleaning that this thing does. So this is the floor mats. I have coffee stains. I have mud. When you actually see what comes out of here. Now I'm using a product that's coming up next, a, a pressure washing wand. You see how short that thing is? You got a really cool wand coming up. But I'm going to use this drill and my wife's stolen cleaner. And I'm going to go ahead and pre-soak all of this. Now, if you use a pressure washer on carpet, it can actually damage the fibers. And it doesn't get all the stuff out of it. You'll see if uh, professional carpet cleaners use agitation. So that's what we're doing here is we're actually agitating the fibers with this large five-inch flat um, you know, brush. And what you'll see here is it's almost like a mocha coffee color. Now this cleaner is completely clear that we use, but when it gets to that edge, you can see where all that mud starting to come out more of a brown color. That's not the tan of the, uh, the floor mats. That's actually the color. Now what I did is no pressure at all. I'm just letting it rinse away and you can see all of that dirt floating away. Then I will come back and help at lift some of that stuff that's been lifted. I'm gonna use our next product coming up to help me get the uh, uh, dirt out of there that has been lifted or extracted by this brush. So this uh, drill kit, super easy to use. Don't need any training. <laughs> Again, if you are going to use the uh, more aggressive cleaners, get used to you know learning about those and what different grits do and how to use the polishers correctly. But it comes with five different polishing pads, four different scouring pads, three of different size buffing pads and this can be used for interior this is like a detailer secret weapon here so you can see how clean that gets uh very very happy with the result night and day difference on this so two really really great performances here uh of this tool on my truck and there you go now i've got clean carpets for my trip down uh to pdx land to get them dirty again the next product coming up i'm gonna go ahead and put these off to the side here only because I'm going to use that box to uh, test out our camera here in just a second. You guys have been waiting so patiently that I'm actually going to do that right now. We're going to take this box and we're going to put our camera in it and we'll see how strong the night vision is. Let me pull this up here. If you're just tuning in, we are taking a look at the smart camera here. Give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and bring my phone app back up and you can actually see here motion detection, the clock camera detected movement, the clock camera detected movement. So that's the motion alerting capability of this clock camera. But I'm going to actually go ahead and open the clock camera up. It's got an encrypted connection, it says. Now I'm going to bring this camera and we're going to put it inside this box that I have extra here. Adios camera. And we're going to see if it has night vision LEDs. You know what's funny is the light of the camera puts out enough that it can see just itself, but I don't see anything. So we'll do one more test at the bottom of the show here. So that's what it's seeing inside here. It's live. I can shake it around a little bit, but that's what it saw inside the box. So I didn't see any specific like night vision or starlight night vision, but it looks like there was just enough light. Uh, thanks, Ron, for the suggestion on that. There's just enough light actually inside of this to show it that way. So uh, pretty cool test we'll do one more by turning the studio lights off right before we end this show tonight but the next product coming up you kind of got a sneak peek of it here is actually behind me and i didn't know how to take this one i love pressure washing my wife loves cleaning and pressure washing and it's this product right here which just spilled water all over my table so 
you can see on the top down it's still got a little bit of water in here. <laughs> i'll show you guys this yeah so we just spilled a bunch of water here but you know what table needed to be cleaned anyway um you can tell this thing has been used i was actually just using this here there's no getting away from that i was using this earlier in that last video you saw me cleaning floor mats with it the one thing i love about this is my pressure washer i've got several different ones the shortest wand on it is about three feet so i can't get any closer myself physically than something that's three feet away if you're cleaning something up close like a carpet or the bed of a pickup truck this thing gives you a lot more room to get under things to underside of stuff if you're cleaning wheel wells very easy with the tires still installed to get in there and clean wheel arches so i was cautiously optimistic about this thing now it does come with some accessories it does actually come with a full set of colored nozzles so if you've been losing those like i have the nozzles are actually out on the pressure washer right now it comes with a quick adapter for the quick disconnect and a regular threaded adapter including two sets of teflon tape i've got an unbox video of this separately if you're interested in that i am going to pull this up because i want to show you the performance of this thing because it was awesome uh, let me know in the chat what kind of pressure washer you have right now because if you do have a pressure washer and use it uh, i want to make sure that we can check and see if it's compatible with yours as far as i know this is compatible with everything um, that's out there on the market today and let's see <laughs> we're gonna bring this up this is my demo and like i said this is the smallest one i have i have an electric pressure washer and a gas the electric is my go-to for most things the gas is only if i really need it this was putting it on there with that quick disconnect it fit compatibly with my uh quick disconnect i already had i'm gonna use a soap nozzle here real fast turn the pressure washer on and and what's nice about this is you can get right up next to it you see how close i am to the truck sometimes when you're parked next to another car you don't have room to do a three foot wand now in this case i'm cleaning out a garbage can how many people have done this cleaned out a garbage can with a pressure washer well, if you're using a three foot wand, you can't hold the pressure washer and the garbage can at the same time. Just serendipitous. I happen to have this. Look at me cleaning this tailgate effortlessly. Uh, well, it's hard to say. I'm cleaning it effortlessly. But if we go here, trying to clean a pressure washer or a tailgate with a pressure washer wand, you've got to hold it up. You can only still use one hand. It's really awkward. I really like that. I'm going to take you in the back of my truck because we had all sorts of dirt and debris in here. And I'm going to show you what this thing is like in close spaces so i'm cleaning my canopy off i've got the uh, northwest mold edition uh it's got uh, you know a bunch of moss growing inside my canopy because we are wet up here all the time year round and so i'm cleaning all of that off i'm using that wand right up close very controllable very easy to use i was surprised how much um, this was from a convenience perspective so this is a short pressure washer replacement handle and this is going to again be good with your electric your gas your homeowner grade i believe it goes up to 5,000 psi and 10 gallons per minute but we'll take a look real quick here when we're done with this video but i was cleaning out the whole back of my truck i also did the floor mats as you saw so this actually made it really easy and clean the wheels makes it really easy to get in right up in there on the sides and get up and under things so that was really slick um <laughs> and americans checking it says never thought i'd see pressure washer combat footage here that's the truth isn't it if you're just tuning in this is john the net guy thank you guys again for tuning in i do a show like this every tuesday right now uh where i bring cool products like this one that was provided by the manufacturer and i tell you what's cool and what's not every once in a while we get a dud ace magic uh but We'll see. So this one actually was one of the products. I was surprised how convenient it is to have. Let's go over to the Amazon page. If you're following me on Amazon right now, I already linked this in the carousel, so you're going to see it right away. This is $56 right now, normally $69, with an additional 40% off. Now, if you've lost a lot of your attachments like I have, you've got kids that wander off with them. If you need an additional quick disconnect there, it's got that. Uh, or if you have the different style of hose, you can do that. It's good for up to 5,000 PSI, a 10.5 gallons per minute, which is a lot. That's commercial grade, really, at that point. Um, and I've used this all the way up from a 2,000 to a 3,000 PSI, and it works just fine. It does have these uh, quick disconnecting nozzles, and it will work with other attachments, but this one's really designed for you to be able to get right up close onto something. I'll show you real quick if they have any of the things. So it's got the quarter-inch connector up top. 
It's got the three eighths. It does have a swiveling handle, which is kind of nice. So that is built in. Let me show you that real quick on the side before I get this on my laptop. But this actually swivels on this part. So my other one is fixed. So it has to swivel down here on the hose side. This is a lot better for your hoses uh, to have the swivel right there. So uh, that again, uh, this I don't know how to pronounce this company's name. I feel really bad about that. Maybe you guys can help me as well. So this is Angusing, Angusing, whatever it is, it's cool. <laughs> it's a neat product. Uh, at 60 minus 40%, you're looking at somewhere around the $30 range to get a replacement handle. And if you've shopped around, that's a really decent price for what you're getting here. So that's this product. We've got a couple other products to show you tonight, and then we'll wrap up. It's been a quick show. Thank you guys that are tuned in here. And uh, we're going to go right on to the next one, which is actually another item for my truck. It's been hanging out in the background, but uh, we've been talking about my truck quite a bit tonight. <laughs> and what we need to talk about is where I live. I live in Washington State. And if you look at it per capita, we have the highest number of auto thefts in the country. So Washington State, Oregon, California, there's some of the highest theft rates. It didn't help, again, saying out of the politics of this, it didn't help that we've basically decriminalized auto theft. Even if it's an occupied stolen vehicle, they won't even chase it in Washington anymore. We're starting to fix that. But what that means is that you are responsible to be your own theft deterrent. So sadly, this product is something I had to pick up. I have a 7.3 liter 2000 model uh, diesel F350. Super desirable to steal. And you can steal that thing with a screwdriver if you really had to. So uh, what I wanted to do was something that would be a deterrent. So I picked up the club. Now, the club has actually improved from the original club everybody knows, right? Uh, one, they got this bright yellow color, so it's very easily visible. Super easy to install and uninstall. Let me go ahead and pull this out of here. I have actually been using this one. I threw it back in the box so you can see what it looks like, but that's the box. Amazon has one of the best prices on this. Now, what I love about this right away is that it actually comes collapsed here and you can extend it without the key. So this means that you're always like fumbling for your truck keys. Let me pull my truck keys out here. So you don't have to always be fumbling for your keys. For me, it's a, when I hop in the truck, I do a quick thing. I turn the key, which loosens it and it can go in and out. So I loosen it. I put it over on the back floorboard and I have it. When I get back in the truck and I'm ready to leave, I extend it into position. It's showing up bright yellow in the window. And everybody knows that this 7.3 is gonna be a little bit harder to steal than the average one in the parking lot. So hopefully they move on to the next one. So my truck is gonna be down there in view, empty parking lots by itself for a long time. I wanted to have a little bit of extra protection. I've been using this thing for almost a year now and I love it. It's actually helped a lot and my truck hasn't been stolen this year. So I guess that's a good sign. I'm gonna show you real quick what that looks like inside the truck. Now there are ways to defeat these, but again, the average criminal that may have a screwdriver is all on them is probably not gonna do this. And they may not even wanna cut through your steering wheel, which is the other option. So I'm gonna show you real quick how that club works and how it installs. Uh, yep. So some people will cut through the steering wheel. Ron's saying, I'm going to go ahead and just show you real quick. Here's my truck, 7.3 liter. It does actually have immobilizers and other bypasses that I put in that will stop people, but this is how easy it is to install. So I go ahead and put that in. You don't need a key to do the installation. And that's what it looks like. You just put it in a way that it's going to be awkward or difficult for them to steer your vehicle. And yes, they can cut your thing, but when they come up to your vehicle and they look in, they're going to see this bright yellow, and sometimes I'll install it the other way so it's pointing actually towards the window. So they know, okay, I'm gonna skip by this truck. It's not worth dealing with that. Um, to get in, to get out of there, it's very easy. I take my keys like I normally am gonna leave and I just put it in there, turn the key, and it adds maybe five seconds, 10 seconds on each time that I get in and out of my vehicle. And that is enough to keep me from having to try to find another turbocharged 7.3, whatever, in good condition, which is almost impossible. They're like a unicorn right now, and I love that truck. So uh, this is, again, the club, and that's what we're looking at today. Uh, it is available on Amazon. I'm going to jump over to the Amazon page real quick so you can see it. Again, they are uh, able to be bypassed. You know, People can cut through your steering wheel and do that, but this is, again, a deterrent. There's over 8,000 reviews, and it looks like it's at least four and a half stars. This unit itself is cut resistant here. 
Uh, and that's what it looks like. There are different colors. They have the red, and then they also have this bright yellow one. Let's just take a quick look at the reviews. I just want to see the average of reviews is 4.6 out of 5 on 8,000. So pretty good traffic on there for the club. So that's coming down to uh, PDX land with me. I'm just taking a look quickly in the chat. <laughs> Great way to insure a new car every year, somebody says. No, I don't want it to get stolen. I'm putting that thing back in the truck so nobody steals it. <laughs> look at that. Uh, the next product is another automotive product. And this one actually comes to me from an OEM manufacturer. Now, what's interesting about this is OEM is an original equipment manufacturer. Now, this is the CDW TPS company here. This is their wiper blade pair. And if you've gone shopping for wiper blades recently, I think they're making them out of gold now. That's the only reason that I can see that they cost so darn much. These are finally a source for affordable, high-quality uh, wiper blades. Now, it's got imported rubber from Japan here. They've got a composite graphite coating on them, multifunction adapter, so you can add more vehicles. And it's going to have dual uh, steel spring technology in them so that they follow the contour of your window. Now, this one is awfully light. This one actually has it in there. They sent me one for each of my vehicles so that I can show you guys how easy these things are to install. I do have an install video I'll show you real quick. But, you know, it's been raining for weeks here in Seattle. And then when I go to do this, we have a bright, sunny day. So don't think that that's the case in Seattle all the time. This really odd L-shaped box hides a great secret. So uh, what's nice about this is with Amazon, you can go plug in your vehicle and then CDWTPS, and it will find you the exact wiper blade. So that's one of the nice things about it. In my case, my Pacifica takes two different size wiper blades. It takes a 26-inch. And then I believe it's a 20 inch or a 22 inch. And what's nice is that the fit was guaranteed through Amazon. So if you get the wrong one or it doesn't fit, you can always send it back in. In this case, mine uses a, a technique called a J hook. So you flick this up, it's gonna have this little adapter here. So you slide your new wiper in and now you can save yourself a bunch of money. If you go look at what they charge at the dealership or at service centers, for wipers, it should be criminal right now. These things are $16.99 for a pair of them shipped to your door. They have these really nice protectors here. I'm going to bring you guys up here on the side. So they do have these really nice protectors that are going to protect that rubber. Also, another thing, if you do want to get a little bit more time out of your wipers, use a, a rubbing alcohol and a wipe, and you can usually get your old wipers clean. We're in Washington State. We use wipers a lot. The funny thing is there's two places that I think use wipers the most, desert climates and really wet climates, <laughs> because we've used our wipers a ton up here in Seattle, and we're constantly going through them. Between six and 12 months is the average lifespan. So if you're thinking about it and you're going, are my wipers still any good? You can actually go to the link in the description or go to the one on the carousel right now. Just click on that. And at the very top, if you have a car registered, it'll allow you to filter for the one that is matching your car, but they make all sorts of them. I'm going to show you one more video real quick here today, and that is going to be about these wipers and how easy they were to install. And they're just hidden down below the fold. So I'm going to bring that up. I actually installed these on my Explorer about a couple hours ago. I had to use some simulated water, surprisingly, for a guy from Washington to have to use simulated rain. But here we go. Uh, my Explorer uses a very unique and difficult to match wiper. It actually uses a pinch fitting. I'll show you here in a second. And they were able to match this. So they actually have the uh, pin style. So some older cars had pins that would go through their wiper. Mine uses this pinch system. And this with an adapter actually fits perfectly. So I'm very excited about this because dad doesn't get new wipers very often. And uh, these things are much more economical than going to the auto parts store. So I'm very excited about this. Um. <laughs> There we go. Yep. So that's installed on that side. We'll come over to the other side. We'll do the passenger. You can see this is, I don't even think I sped this up, maybe 20, 30%. It is almost real time, the amount of time that it takes here. I'll bring your camera over so you can see a little bit closer and what's involved with this. But very, very easy to install. Uh, in my case, I actually pinch the back side here on my Explorer. That's the style. And then I push down. And they, they'll slide out. With the J ones, you push down on a tab and pull, and sometimes they come out. But it comes with instructions. It'll tell you all about that. 
In this case, I go ahead and put that tab in, and then I'm going to have to push a couple times here so I get it pushed in. And there we go. It does snap in on this side a little bit tighter. I pull that yellow strap so that it's now that fresh rubber blade is on there. And then here's where I do the uh, Washington simulated water trick. I'm going to go ahead and get the windshield all nice and wet. We've got pollen on everything, so we're using our wipers constantly now. And you can see they work just great. So I kept doing that over and over and sheeting the water away completely clear in one pass. I was really excited about that. So that's the CDW TPS company. They get a thumbs up on here. $16.99 for these OEM replacement wipers. Now, what is uh, we talked about OEM? These are actually, from what I can tell and what they were telling me, they are the OEM for Tesla and BMW over in Asia. So if you're in uh, China and Japan area, apparently if you have a Tesla, you probably already have these wipers on them or a BMW. So I'm um, not sure about the U.S., but they are available in the U.S. right now from Amazon if you want to pick those up. So last product is actually a gaming product, and it's one that I'm going to be using uh, at PDX land, and I'm going to be bringing a couple different headphones down there. Um, this is actually from the Razer company, and this one is their Black Shark V2X. So the Black Shark V2X. <laughs> Show it from inside the vehicle, John Randy says. Sorry on the uh, wipers. I didn't get. I didn't have the filming to do that today. I was racing. I had like 15 minutes before the show started. I was still five minutes late when I finally got it done, but I will do that next time. I'll take uh, another video from the inside and show it with that. So um, that these ones are a set of gaming headphones. What I love about this is they're affordable. They block out almost 100% of sound outside around you. So they're fully enclosed, closed back headphones. And the microphone sounds really good. I went through probably 20 microphones until I found one that sounds like this microphone does that I'm talking into. What do these look like? like this so i'm going to bring you guys on the top down i have a separate unbox video which my editor will do a nice job of cutting in um, but this is the unit right here a black and this green the green is not showing up on that camera properly let me see if i can show you guys it looks like super neon but it's actually more yeah it's 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 a neon green but it's not like fluorescent like it is on the top down um, it does come with a pretty long cord so you're going to have about five feet on this segment of the cord, which is good if you're going to the combination. So that's the TRRS. Now, if your computer or laptop has a TRRS, you're good to go. That's where it'll say headset. If you need a little bit more room and you want to separate those, look at that. They've got the uh, TRS mic and TRS headphone. So pretty slick. They fit fantastic. That's one thing I love. Now, it's going to look like a, uh, an announcer because I've got this big boom mic here. Uh, volume control on the side, mute button on the side, which is super important. Now, would it be nice if they had RGB? Yeah. Now, would it be nice if they were Bluetooth? Probably. But you know what I'm not going to have to do this whole weekend? Charge. <laughs> I can plug these in. I can hear the game. I can talk back to my teammates. And one of the most important things is that your teammates can hear you clearly uh, craft computing did a video recently about a, a set of, uh, gaming headphones and they just sounded like trash. Uh, the microphone was so bad in them. You could barely hear the person. So these things I am happy to say they sound wonderful and they work great. Last product up here today. And I'm going to give you a quick sample of that sound. I've learned my lesson that I am now actually pre-recording these sound samples. I'm going to play this for you right now and I'll shut up and let this guy talk about it. Hey, it's John the Net Guy. We are doing a sound check pre-show. I'm working on this. This is the Razer headset. You know, pretty basic overall. Fits well, but man, is it noise isolating. This is going to be scary because it literally blocks out all sound. You get just the game. You can adjust the volume way back here. Pretty good set. Hopefully it sounds good, and hopefully it's going to sound good in your game. I'll talk to you later. So if everything worked right, give me a thumbs up in the chat, <laughs> like if you can. Hopefully you got the good sound test on that one. If I have to play it differently, I can. But um, the, the microphone sounds rich and deep, something you don't normally get in a set of headphones at this price point. So what's the price point? I'll go ahead and bring up the Amazon page while we're waiting here, and we'll talk about that. So bring it up my Amazon page. If you're hitting that show URL or the links, I do get a single digit commission. This is a product I bought for myself when it was on sale. I think I paid that much actually. 
it's normally $59, but I was actually able to pick two sets of these up at that $39.99 price point. Again, don't have to worry about uh, any issues. Let me close this out. Don't have to worry about any issues with these things running out of battery power. You don't have that. They do say 7.1 surround sound. Now, would I go there? Maybe, maybe not. Again, there's a lot of technology that's required. They sound fantastic. Microphone is one of the high points on this one. So they're calling it the hyper clear noise canceling mic. So it's passive noise canceling. There is no battery in these and there's no uh, whatever, but it is a cardioid pickup pattern here. So it is going to pick up towards the person and not the surrounding noise. So that's what they're meaning. I'm guessing by it. And then advanced passive noise cancellation. But it doesn't have noise cancellation from what you normally traditionally think noise cancellation is. But what they do have is these absolutely amazing ear cups that are soft and supple here. Uh, it looks like they're almost PU leather on the outside, but they're almost some sort of fabric on this inside part, which I really like because this area that touches your head, that's the area that gets hot with PU leather. And that's the area that quickly wears out. So uh, very excited about these. I did actually use my other set in our minivan. We've got the screens in it. And my youngest, he's five, loves to wear this set. One, because he looks like a fighter pilot when he's wearing these things in the back. They are also adjustable. So these are from Razor. And so my five-year-old, he adjusts his way down for his little head. And then he can wear those. But if you've got a big noggin like me, you can extend these way down. Now, some people may or may not like the cushioning up here. Um, but for a long gaming session, very nice to have up there. Uh, very happy with these. So that was the last product on the show. I'm going to take a quick look here at the chat, make sure I didn't miss anything. Jonathan gave a thumbs up. So you guys got to hear the audio test. Love that. I am going to show you a little bit about how I shut down the studio and I'll turn my lights off. And then we're going to take a look at the performance of this last product, the Alpha Tech Smart uh, Clock. So if you see one of these out, tag me if you see one of these clocks in the real world. Uh, and let me know, but I'd be scared about that. And Jonathan, thank you so much for the kind words, man. I wish you could have come out to us to PDX land here and uh, game with us. It's going to be a 900 person land party for four days for charity. And I'm going to be doing some content around that. So if you're following me on YouTube, Twitter, anywhere else, you're going to get to see that. I'm going to do some Alexa commands and hopefully you guys don't have a studio, but Alexa, turn off the studio. Okay. That's my main lights. I'm going to turn this light off. <laughs> now you're just getting the uh, lights that we have. And we're going to go down to this. Uh, workbench LEDs are off. I've got a set over here that I can't turn off. But this is pretty dark. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the phone app. And we're going to take a look and see how that's working. Okay, so dark and uh, night performance. You know, not spectacular. So it definitely doesn't have any sort of night vision that we thought about. And again... Uh, I think the night vision could potentially give it away because there are IR uh, cameras that can see IR and will actually warn people about that. Um, so, you know, it doesn't matter the, the wavelength. Wise cams are doing pretty good because they have the non-red IR. Alexa, turn on the studio. I have her turn the lights back on here and you can see the performance of the cameras coming back to normal. So, yeah, very impressed with that camera. I want to thank those guys for sending that out, uh, Alpha Tech, for a fair and honest review. And I'm going to catch you guys all next week where we're going to do a little bit of a follow-up from all the cool products. I'm going to show you the footage from this guy. I'm going to show you how this guy's been performing all week. But I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. I will catch you guys all in the next one. See you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Hope you had a great Easter. And I will catch you on the other side. Thanks. Talk to you all later.